Hello, my name is Michael Driscoll, and in this video, you will learn how to drag an image onto your application and have it appear after you drag it. <clears throat> so to get started, we'll go ahead and create our application using import WX. We'll create a class. Um, let's just call it photo control. And this will be a subclass of the frame. As usual, we will create our init which is our constructor, basically, our initializer, so to speak. And then we create our init again. You could, of course, use super here as well if you wanted to. I'm just going to skip that for now. Call this photo control. All right, so now we have this lovely little application. Let's go ahead and add some code at the bottom to make sure we can run it. On all WX Python applications, you need to have an app object and that will control the main loop that is used when you create your application. So, go ahead and start the main loop. Now I can accept events. And if we show the frame to the user, everything should be hunky dory. Let's go ahead and run that. Okay, so we have what we want. Now we just need to make it actually do something useful. So the next step is to create a panel. You, know, you almost always want a panel on your, on your frame. It gives it the right look and feel, and we'll just make it look, it'll just basically make it look really nice. So let's see, if we want to do a panel, we do panel like that, give it the frame reference. And we're actually gonna use PubSub, which is uh, publish subscribe model for dragging for uh, sending messages across your application. It really makes it easy to send um, a message from one class to another, kind of, you, and it, it just makes things easier. So, Debix Python used to come with PubSub, and it still does, but it has a deprecation warning if you use it. Um, you can still access it by doing wx.lib.pubsub, but it is actually uh, recommended that you use the PyPubSub module now which is a separate package you can just pip install. So uh, you could use this code here, import uh, dbx.lib.pubsub, but for our purposes, I already have um, pubsub ready to go, so I'll just import, actually I'll do from pubsub import pub. Um, PubSub, the WX Python version is actually a, basically a copy of the PubSub module that was packaged with Python, but the PubSub module keeps changing and faster than WX Python does, so they decided to kind of keep their project separate now. So we have this, we have our panel, let's create a PubSub object. So what we'll do is we'll do pub.subscribe, and we need to have it subscribe to some kind of function. Well, some kind of message, but it, it's mapped to a function. So we'll say update image on drag and drop or DND. And the message will just be the string DND. So now we need to create a, a uh, method called update image on DMD. So we'll just do that. And let's see. That will accept a file path. So when you drag and drop the image, obviously you need to have access to where that image is stored on your hard drive. So that's what this is about. And we'll get this all hooked up and you'll understand what's going on here in a minute. So self dot on view. This will this is the method I'm going to create that will actually show the image once it's been loaded. Um, let's go ahead and pass the file path into it. We'll just do this. And the next thing to do would be to create our onView function or method. So let's create a file path. There we go. Um, we'll create a wx.image object, which is what you Python uses internally to make the image work correctly. So it will load the image into, mem into memory, and then it'll try to convert it into something that 
Debix Python understands. All right. So now we have it in memory. Now we just kind of need to make it do something useful. So what I like to do is get the width and height out of it. So let's do w equals image.getWidth, h equals image.getHeight. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the image gets scaled down a little bit. So I just use this function I found, this uh, kind of code I found a long time ago that makes it easy to, to do. So new w equals photo max size, which I think we forgot to set earlier. So the photo max size, I'm just going to make that kind of a global variable up here. You can set this to whatever you want. I'm just going to keep the image small, so I'll do 240, 240 pixels. Now to get it to scale correctly, um, what you can do is you can do uh, new, the new height will be um, photo max size times the original height divided by the width. And then you have an else that basically reverses them. So new h equals photo max size. New w equals photo max size times width divided by height. And that just kind of scales your image down the way you want it to. So you don't end up having a stretched out image, which is, of course, not what you want. All right. So then you can just do image equals image.scale. New, oops, new w and new h. Oops, there we go. So that'll scale it down to the new size that you want. And we didn't get our image control set up yet, so let's go back up here and we'll just add that. So what we want to do here is add a image control. And I discovered this just recently that WX Python uh, or actually not WX Python, but the Mac um, bitmap widget that WX Python uses does not accept drag and drop. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to use WX Python's um, generic implementation, which you can get from WX lib uh, stat bitmap, what is imported as SB for static bitmap. And then we're going to create an instance of it. So let's see. Let me look at my notes here a second. All right. Let's say we have an image control. Yeah, let's make this a little bit different. Make that a little bit bigger. Image control equals SB a generic sta static bitmap. I'm going to give it the panel as its parent. Any, any, and then we're going to do WX bitmap equals to image, which we don't have set up yet. Getting ahead of myself here a little bit. All right. So when you first create this, you want it to have a generic image. So let's do that quick. The generic image will just be kind of a a size. So 240 by 240. All right. We're almost ready to run the code and see what we have. But we need to add this widget, the image control, to a sizer. So let's do that real quick. Uh, we'll just say main sizer equals box sizer main sizer dot add dot image control. And then let's see, self dot set sizer. Oops, self dot panel dot set sizer to main sizer. All right. So if we do that and rerun the code, we should now have a nice little application. Let's make that fit a little bit better though. So if you do self dot main sizer, oops. 
shut it in this, make it self dot. I'll fix a little bit of an issue I have later when I need to add the image back in. Okay. So we'll do self dot mean sizer dot fit. We'll fit it to itself, which means we're going to fit it to the frame. So now when we run it, it'll fit the control the frame to the control. So that looks a little bit more natural instead of having all that white space that we had here before. And now fits it to the control. Okay. So if you try to drag and drop right now, you know, say you try to drag and drop an image on it, you're going to have nothing happen because the application doesn't know what to do. So we need to make it know what to, what to do when it gets something drug onto it. So the way that you tell it uh, what to do is you need to create a drop target. So to do that, we need to create a new class. So let's go ahead and do that quick. We'll create, you can, you can name this whatever you want. I just like to call it drop target so I know what it is. But you know, you could call it whatever you need to call it. It's going to be a file drop target. There are other types of drop targets you can use in WX Python, but in this case, because we're dragging and dropping a file, this makes the most sense. Um, you could drag and drop text, for example, if you wanted to do something different, though. All right, so now we've got an init, and now we got self, and we're going to want to drop, put in a widget, because that's going to be the widget that we're attached to for our drop target. So what we're going to do here is we'll do file drop target dot init. Uh, my autocomplete isn't working quite right today. Okay. And then we want to grab a reference to the widget that we passed in. And then we need to override on drop files, which is a built in uh, method to file drop target. So we'll just keep all those and do image equals, well, hold on. So what are we going to do when we get this file in? We need to convert it so that Python knows what to do with it, or in Dbx Python knows what to do with it. So um, one way to do that is to create a, a thumbnail version of it. Um, you can do this a lot of different ways. We're just going to follow my, my old instructions that I have here. So let's see, let's import. Um, the Python imaging library. Actually, let's import something from it. So let's do this. From PIL, import image. And then we can do image equals image dot open. And we'll say file names. We just want the first file name that's dropped in there. So if you had multiple selected, we only want to grab the first one. Then we can do image that thumbnail. Got to fix that typo. It won't work, right? All right, I'm having all kinds of typos today. All right, thumbnail. And we just want to make that photo thumbnail photo max size. So it takes a, a tuple. So we're just going to set the thumbnail to 240 by 240, and it'll automatically scale it the way we want it to. Kind of cheating here just a little bit to make sure that it, it works the way we want it to. We probably wouldn't even have to do this now that I think about it. But we're going to try it with with it and then we're going to try it without. So here let's do this message. Oops, pub.send message. You have to send the message. So here when you say send message, we're going to say DND. So when pub sub is sitting there listening, it's looking for any messages that start with DND because that's what we're subscribed to down here. So when we send a message, you have to give it the same string or the message doesn't go through. This allows you to send different kinds of messages. So if I was like dragging text, I might say text to DND, and then that, that would be a completely different class that would send a different message. We also need to pass down the file path. So we'll just pass in thumbnail for now. Thumbnail, not PNG. Okay. And you have to return true from this particular function or it doesn't work right. This method always has to return true, so we just implement that. Okay, so this gives us a class, but it's still not hooked up. If you run this code, it, dragging and dropping still doesn't work. So what we need to do is we need to tell DBX Python that the image control is a drop target. 
So to do that, you do um, WX image control, and then you do um, set drop target. And then what you do is you tell it what the target is. So we'll say file drop target. And we actually need to have a drop target implementation here. So that equals drop target self. OK. So here's the important bits right here. File drop target equals drop target. So it makes an instance of our class here. We're going to pass itself so that the drop target is um, the frame itself. So any, any way you drop the image onto the frame, the frame becomes a drop target. But then we set the drop target to this. So basically what we're saying is we want anything dropped onto it to be targeted at the image control. So when you call set drop target, it's going to implicitly pass uh, the image control in as the widget. But you see we're not really using self.widget here. I think there is a way to use it, but we're not, we're not going to talk about that right now. OK. So now when you drag and drop an image, it's going to go, go into this code, parse out the image, save it as a thumbnail, and then send, the, send a PubSub message. When PubSub sends the message, it's going to get caught way down here in PubSub subscribe, which is going to call the update image on DND. So let's kind of walk through this. Let's put a breakpoint here, and let's put a breakpoint here. And we'll put a breakpoint here. And I think we actually need to do something else down here in this control. This isn't quite right. So this is going to scale it. But we also need it to uh, set the bitmap to wx.bitmap. Then we pass in our new image. And then we need to actually refresh the panel so that it redraws with the new image in it. And we forgot to do that. All right. So now if we run this code, we now have our photo control again. Let's go and try to drag and drop this image on. So you drag it on, drag it on there. Now we're, we're paused here. And if you mouse over this, you can see that it gives me the path to the image that I want. So we know that that part's working right. Let's go ahead and continue. That's created a thumbnail. So now the file path should be thumbnail. Yep. OK, and that path is getting passed on to our onView function. So if we continue there, onView is getting called. We've just resized it if we needed to. We really didn't because we already have a thumbnail version. And then we continue, and we go back in here. And you can see that the image is there. Let's go ahead and get rid of those breakpoints. So kind of in the way. I'll bring this back up, and then we'll try dropping a different image on there. Let's put my mug in this thing. Oops. Implicit conversion to integers deprecated. Well, it doesn't like that image for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. Let's see if I'll continue running or not. Oh, it did continue running. So anyway, my ID just didn't like something about that image and made it pause there, but it. If, you, if you're not running in an ID, that won't happen. I'll just load it correctly. OK, so there's the image. It's still working the way we want it to. Um, just for fun, let's go ahead and change this code. We'll comment this stuff out. All right, we'll just delete it. Just delete those two lines for now. And we're going to pass the entire image in instead. Actually, what I'll we'll do is we'll pass this thing in. I think what yeah we'll do that. Let's just skip the whole the whole pill image pill part and we'll just pass the full image in. We don't need this either. All right, refresh, rerun. Go back to our image. We'll grab this one again. Aha. So I think what I was trying to do is I ran into some problems originally with this code where I needed to scale it down. But now that I have the other code in there, I forgot to delete the old scaling code. This part does all the scaling for you, and it does it well. If you, did, if you didn't want to scale it yourself, then you could do the thumbnail method, and it would work just fine. So you know now you know two different ways to scale an image. But yeah, that's how that works. 
And now you know how to drag and drop an image into your WX Python program. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. Otherwise, I think I'll see you next time.